from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 30 to 21. This is addressed to the city of Ephesus, um, which is considered the mother city of Asia during Paul's imprisonment in Rome at the time. Therefore, I ask that you do not lose heart at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom the whole world, the whole family in heaven and earth is made, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, the length, the depth, the height, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the church, by Christ Jesus, to all generations, forever, and ever. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word. Oh, we need more than glory. You are the 
So we just said God cannot fail. Now I want you, I want you to, I want you to agree with, do you believe that God never fails? Yes. Do you concur that God never fails? Yes. Do you agree that God never fails? Yes. Everybody shout with you. Yes, Lord, I Everybody shout with you. Yes, Lord, I Shout it out if you agree. Yes, yes Lord.
Yeah.
that will happen to us is always to be in the presence of God. Outside here, where else do you think you want to be and derive this kind of joy? It is only here we have our joy, full package joy. And whatever we came, whatever body we came today with, it shall be lifted up to us in Jesus' name. Can we take our seats? Well, that was a very powerful one. Rajon, thank you very much. Amen. I want to welcome those that are joining us today on a Friday morning. You may have been worshiping with us on Tuesday on Sundays. If you know today is your first day of worshiping with us on a Friday morning, I will ask you to please indicate by raising of your hand. If you know today, wow, we have them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be ashamed. You are in your father's house. If you know you are worshiping today for the first time on Friday morning, please, can you do one more thing? Can you stand up? Let us know. One more assignment. Can you please? Take all that you came with, make a step of faith, and we have already prepared a special seat for you because we know you are coming. So please, can you come to occupy this place? And I want you to come to the front so that our pastors and everyone of us will see you. Transportation 
the fact where that you can contact, they will bring you free of charge. You just come and worship God together with us, and God will change your life in Jesus' name. Amen. We have so many departments in, in, quiet, don't, in, in, in church. Don't just come and be a bench woman right. or a sick woman. One day, that's it will be crying for you. Yes. Yes. You can join the ushering department. Mm -hmm. We have our music department. Yes. We have our prayer department. Yes. We have children's department. Yes. You, you have youths, all the youths. There are so many people that have not been seen in the youth department. Mm -hmm. But you are here. Make yourself available. Make yourself useful in the presence of God. And God will never leave you unrewarded. In Jesus' name. Amen. I think uh, I'll, because of want of time, I want to call on the King Boniface to come and take it up from here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's always a wonderful time to stand here to give this part of the, the, the service because this part gives glory to God. Amen. And specifically, for specific things He's done in your lives, in my life, and everyone over here. Right. Praise God. We have, excuse me, we have uh, five testimonies, including mine. Mm -hmm. uh, this morning, we give thanks and glory to God for all of them. Uh, Brother Stephen Asuka from the men's department says today, uh, I am one year older today. Thank you God for what you have to do in my life. Thank you God for what you have to do in my life. And for all the years that come, it's ahead of him. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Then we have uh, uh, Joseph from the men's group, uh, our president. He says, we are thanking God for our nine years of marriage. And we say, hallelujah. Nine years. Amen. Amen. We give God the glory. I am also thanking God for successful passing of my engineering exam to be certified as petroleum engineer. Hallelujah. Is it God taking you places? It is. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Uh, Sister Joy from Choir says, it's, uh, it's so true, you never fail. Your words are yes and amen. amen. Uh, you love me too much, Lord. I thank God for opening the doors, uh, though enemies thought they shut. He, he has given me a new job and I'm so grateful. All glory to God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And Jesus. Amen. Amen. And then, Bro Peter from Intercessory uh, says, It was in the last rescue hour service when the Lord heard, uh, sorry, healed my back. Sorry for that. Healed my back, which had persistently been paining since last year, November. I bless God for His supernatural healing. Truly, Amen. God is a miracle working God. Hallelujah! Amen! 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 Amen. Uh, because of time, I'll be quick on my testimony as well. I thank God for uh, a very successful uh, project we did uh, with Nakila. I give glory and thanks to God. Pastor prayed over uh, for that project and it's been a huge success that they want uh, me to conduct another session in Messiah in a, in a whole open area. I give all glory and thanks to God for the wonderful things is doing in my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right, let's all now be on our feet as we welcome our daddy today for our spiritual food. Please let's give a clap offering to the Lord and welcome our daddy. Come on, let's keep clapping for Jesus. Come on, come on, let's do better. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I told you that here.
Father, it's all, all the glory to you. Father, we bless your name for you are. What a wonderful month that has kept us. It has been a glorious month. It has been a wonderful month. It has been a month of your love for us, oh God. We appreciate you so greatly for how you have kept your church, for how you have preserved individuals and our individual families. We thank you for the month of February. We bless your holy name, oh God. With a heart of gratitude, we want to say thank you, Lord. I said we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the month of February. I said thank you for the month of February. Greater things that you have done for us. Lives that you have spared. Lives that you have spared. Most of us travel, you brought us back safely. Our families are there, you kept them by your mighty hands. But now our jobs, you preserve us, O God. Thank you for new businesses again. Thank you for new careers again. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for the new better. Thank you for the promotions again. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for the souls that you have won to your church. We worship for, for in Jesus' name we have given thanks. And everybody say, Amen. Come on, take your wonderful seat in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for the choir. We we'll bless God for you. Always. Always. Every family I hear something different. Amen. Amen. I'm so grateful for them and for what we are doing. Amen. And please tell somebody you are welcome to his presence. Amen. Come on, loud and loud. Come on, say, say, welcome to his presence. Amen. 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 But in his presence, there is fullness of joy. I think you know. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In his presence, there is what? There is fullness of joy. And today, we'll be ministering on what I title Limitless Love. Limitless what? Love. The love of God is limitless. Otherwise, you can say, not only that, you can say, love without limits. Love without what? Limits. Limitless love. Limitless love. Love without limits. In this year, is a year of no more limits. That's right. And so God's love is without what? Limit. Limitless love. And our text was taken from Ephesians chapter 3. And we started from verses 13. But I'm going to go more from 14 downwards. I will look at that. For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For this reason. There's a reason beyond that. For this reason I'm praying for you. For this reason I have to pray for you. you can imagine Paul standing in the car for the church of Ephesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Reverend, the church of Ephesus is a wonderful church. Amen. Amen. Paul spent a lot of time in Ephesus. Why? Because there are so many souls out there. It's considered actually as the modern city of Asia in those days. Like our daughter said. Why would he buy his things and pray for them? There are so many things that are going on in Ephesus. Some missing links are going on. Praise God. Say, I am forced to bow my knees unto him. Say, and heard his name. Go ahead. Go ahead. For whom the whole family in heaven on earth is what? His name. Of whom the whole family. So imagine where you are coming from. God knows your name. Amen. The whole family of the earth. So it's not a mistake that you came out from that your father's house. For those of you, God knows your family. He knows where you are coming from. He knows your roots. Shout it loud that amen. It's not a mistake. Tell them it's not a mistake. Amen. Tell them say it's not a mistake. He knows your family. Amen. Alright, okay, let's go ahead. That he will grant you according to riches of his glory. Let me faster. To be strengthened with might, but with might, through his spirit 
in the inner man. If you see this prayer, it's about your spiritual for spiritual aspects. Yes. That you might be strengthened. You have been strengthened in your inner mind. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Your inner man is important. Tell them, your inner man is important. Amen. Hallelujah. He said that you will be strengthened with the mind through his spirit in the inner man. Most of the battles we fight is the battle of the inner man. Yes. Oh, come on, am I going to get you to somebody? Hallelujah. It is a battle of the inner man. Most of our failures is a failure of the inner man. Most of the temptations and trials is a failure of what? The inner man. That's why your inner man needs to be strengthened. Tell you what Your inner man needs to be strengthened. <laughs> The Bible says the flesh is weak, but the spirit is what? Really Come on, help me. The spirit is what? It's willing. That's the truth. It's always willing. But the flesh would not want to. Am I communicating? Yes. But when your inner man is strengthened, the flesh will be. Yes. Oh, come on, am I speaking to somebody in the house? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I pray today that God will strengthen your inner man. Yes. I don't want the battles you are facing, but your inner man shall be strengthened. Yes. I say your inner man shall be strengthened. Yes. So we walk not by sight, by faith. I decree your inner man shall come alive. Your inner man shall come alive. Your inner woman shall come alive. Your inner soul shall come alive. Your inner soul shall come alive. Can I hear that? Amen. Yeah. Because the sins we commit is not about flesh, but outside. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's inside. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The act we do, we have already committed inside first. Oh, come on, my communication to someone. Before you move, you must have done something in your heart. Correct? Am I correct? That's the truth. So your inner man has to be strengthened. And that's my prayer for the church. I'm telling you, when your inner man is strengthened, there's nothing you cannot do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When people say anything, you don't hear them. Because you know where you're going. You know where you're going. I know where I'm going. Shout a louder, amen. amen. No, Paul, I mean, that's why Job came to a point in his life. He said, I know my lady, my lady. Yes. Even though my body will decay, but I know on the last day, I will be there. Amen. Because my lady, my what? Live it. Let this flesh go, but I know for one thing, my inner mind. Yeah. And let me say this to everybody, the flesh will go. Yeah. It came from the ground, and it shall, so this ground will eat it up. Yes. Shout it out. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Hey, 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 let's not work about it. It's the truth about it. This flesh, all the green. All the green, the washing, the touching, the, the plastering. <laughs> Let me stop it. Let's go for that. Praise God. Let me say this the truth to all of you. All this one here you are seeing, it will go. To go. Yes. Tell your friends say it will go. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Yes. A time will come. Okay. Pastor, what I'm saying. I know you will live long in Jesus' name. Yes. But even though when you get old, the wrinkles will come. Yes. If you see my face when I was younger, there was no wrinkle. Yes. But now you can show. Yes. And it keeps showing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Am I communicating? Yes. No matter how I buy any cream, it will show. Yes. Old age will show. Praise yes. God. All right, let's go for that. Let my inner man be strengthened. Let my inner man be strengthened. Amen. Even though my flesh is weak, but let my inner man be strengthened. Let me make it clear to you. Even in your old age, even your flesh will be weak, but once your inner man is strengthened, you can go far. Amen. Let's go. I spent too much on that. Go ahead. That Christ may what? Why? Your inner man is strengthened. Then it means that Christ may what? Dwell in your hearts. Through what? Through what? Tell your friend, let Christ dwell in your hearts. I don't know where Christ is dwelling, though. maybe in your mouth. Paul understood that there are people that Christ was dwelling what? In their tongue and in their mouth only. I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love, but in their heart is far. It's the truth. Why would he say dwell in your hearts? Why would he say dwell in your body? Or dwell in your mouth? Because there are some of us that are telling you the truth. Christ is not in our hearts, but it's only in our mouths. That happened of the truth. They love the Lord with their heart, their mouth. Yes, with their body, but their heart is far from me. But that shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Go for that. That you may be what? Here comes now. I love this one. Yes. That you what? May be rooted. May be rooted what? And grounded in love. Limitless love. That you may be rooted and grounded in love. Can we dwell here a few minutes? Can we dwell just a few minutes? Paul was saying that the church needs to be what? Rooted and grounded in love. This is a missing link. Some of us are in love. We love God. That's the truth. But we are not rooted in Him. We are not rooted in Him. And when we talk about roots, you will know the strength and the endurance of a tree by its roots. Yes. Am I communicating? Yes. The deeper the root, the higher, I mean, the deeper the root, the stronger the tree can withstand yes. any stones of yes. life. So if your love for God is rooted, it means you can withstand any stones of life. Amen. Am I speaking to someone? Yes. Many souls are falling because their love for God was not rooted. Let me say more. When we need root, what do we say? We are talking about your base. Probably your base is not strong. Am I speaking to someone? Yeah. Let me say it. Those cars you are watching and see, every car that have a great center of stability, center of stability, you know what I'm talking about now? Yeah. No matter what happens, even if the sunstone is blowing, the center of gravity is there. Yes. Am I talking it's stable? But the cars that don't have it, any wind will blow them off. There are some of us. The reason why wind is blowing us, because we are not rooted. Go here, you are following here. Don't here, you are there, because you're not rooted. Tell your friend, let your base be strong. Amen. Can I say more about roots? Not only the base. Hallelujah. When we say about roots, we are also talking about heritage. Hello? Because yes. sometimes they ask you, which root do you come from? Amen. Am I communicating? It's about what? Your heritage, right? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It talks about your heritage, right? It talks about your blood bloodline, right? Am I communicating to somebody? These are things we are talking about. Somehow, brother, we should understand that God is our heritage. Yes. So our root should be strong. In order to get a better view of this. If you go to Matthew 13, don't go there. Praise God. Matthew 13. It talks about a sower, right? Yes. Hello? Yes. The sower goes to what? To sow a seed in the field. I'm talking about the root of it. Yes. It says, when the word was sown, some fell by the pathway. Why? The pathway, you know what it means? This is a pathway, right? Everybody walks the pathway, right? Yes. Am I communicating? Yes. Because the seed was sown in the pathway, it has no root. That's why some people come to church. They rejoice. The moment they live here, Kalas, if you ask them, what did the pastor preach? Can you open it? I think you open it. Well, come back here. Praise God. Praise God. I know you know it, but let's dwell on it briefly. Matthew 13, quickly. I know, I'm sorry. I guess, make it quickly. Matthew 13. All right. One, three. Okay. Praise God. Is there? Okay. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, are we there already? Okay. It talks about the first one. No, when anyone hears the word and does not understand, the wicked one comes and snatch what was so inside. This is who received the word. They see what? By the wayside. The wicked one takes off. Immediately. Immediately. There are some people, once they go to this coffee shop, Finish. I came to church and I'm going to go now. Class, may that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. And not be your portion. And after coming, spending such a quality time, you will forget the word of God. The second one is the stony side. What did he say? The seed that fell by the stony side. This is what Jesus said concerning that. But who will receive the seed on the stony place? This is one who hears the word and immediately receive it with joy. Go ahead. Yet he has no root in himself. The problem is that this man he had the word of God. He hears and rejoices, but there is no root in himself. 
In just for just a while, some people they will remember this verse after two days or one week. But when tribulation or persecution arises because of the world, immediately he stumbles. That shall not be your portion. The third one. And one who receives among the tongues is one who hears the word. And the cares of this world, this is the third part. And the deceitfulness of riches took the word, and it becomes what? Unfruitful. The last part. The last part. And the one who received the seed of the good ground, he sees that he hears the word and understands it. Who in this bears fruit and produces somewhat hundredfold, some sixty, and somewhat thirtyfold. I pray that your word you hear today will produce fruit in the name of Jesus. So that is why you need to be rooted and what? And grounded. So that the devil will not take advantage of you. And that shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. He will not take advantage of you. Can I hear loud and amen? I said he will not take advantage of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Back to that Ephesians chapter number 3. Where we are. Get back there. Are you there? All right. Thank you. But Christ my body has to the faith that you be rooted in what? Rooted and grounded in love. Go ahead. May be able to comprehend with what? With all the sense. May be able to comprehend. Cease. Then I will say cease. Come on, say hold firm. Come on, I will say hold firm. Cease now. Tell them I will seize it now. Come on, hold it now. Hallelujah. Extravagant love of God. Hold it. came upon him. I pray that shall not be a portion in the name of Jesus. Yes. Did you know the love of God was upon David? Even though he fell, but yet mercy came and recovered him back. I'm speaking to somebody. And God gave him not only that, but the throne after him. Even after his death, his children continued to rule. I'm not communicating to somebody. When God's love is upon you, your generation shall enjoy it. He yes. said, hold it. Keep it holy, seize it. Don't let it go. But let it go because of riches. The Bible says, in the last days, in the last days, very lost times, difficult times will come. Am I coming to Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1? It's in the last days, so perilous times, difficult times will come. Men shall be lovers of sex. They shall be lovers of money. Am I coming to Lovers of pleasure. Amen. They shall be unthankful, rightful. Am I speaking of ungrateful? It's there. Thank you. Amen. Am I complicated? Yeah. They'll be boastful, proud, scornful at God, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful. They will consider nothing secret. Go ahead. That's New Living Translation. Either you give me an ivy or you give me an old one. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self control, brutal. No lovers of the good. Please, look at those things. Are you about them? Safe. That's all you know. Lovers of money. No self-control. You are so proud and boastful. You are the most person. Every other person is down. Disobedient to their parents. Even as I'm talking, there are some of you that are disobedient to your parents. Then they say, oh, no, 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 that's an old way. Mommy, don't talk to me. I'm not that part of that. Hallelujah. Shout it louder. Amen. Amen. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ungrateful, unholy. Go ahead, please. With that love, unforgiving, slanderous. Okay? Not lovers of good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Treacherous, rash, rash, consistent, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Hallelujah. Lovers of pleasure. You know, can I say this? Let's be careful. Some of us are sleep, sleeping one by one. Well, you are tracking ourselves one by one. You started well, but now gradually, because you want to make it, because you want to hold something else, now, church, we can't see you. We have to write a note to look for you. We have to send for you. We have to pray for you. That shouldn't be so. Gradually, I'm dragging back. Gradually, I'm standing back. Gradually,
actually you are backsliding. I am telling you, brethren, your love for God is no more there. The desire for serve God is no more there. That's the truth about it. The desire to pray is no more there. The desire to read the word of God is no more there. And that's what is happening to the church today. You only depend on Friday. Brother, let me say to anybody, don't depend only on Friday. Depend on the word of God. And I'm telling you the truth. The word that you take daily as your tablet will sustain you. Amen. Your daily dosage should not depend on all. It should be the word of God. Yes. For the word I've hidden in my heart, and I might not sing unto you. But what is a lamp to my path and a light unto my path? Yes. He sent forth his word, and his word he led them and delivered them from that destruction. For his word is yea and there's a word. You did it. But now you're sliding. Your own is to read anyhow. Praise God. You don't have time for the word anymore. Lovers of pleasure. You go for fasting? Zero. What are you doing? You're not more there. Some of us are just coming, but we are not more there. Don't allow the devil to cheat you. He said in the last day it will come home. But I have made up my mind it shall not affect me. Amen. I don't know about you. I say it will not affect you. Amen. I say it will not affect you. Cannot affect you. Show your love for God for me. Amen. There's so much department in this church. What are you waiting for? You want people to lay hand on you? You have been in this church for five years. Let me see that one. Or oh, ten years, twenty years alone. You've been a child of God for years. But where, where do you belong? People sacrifice their time. But where are you? Ten hours away. Where are you? Ask the person, say, where are you now? <laughs> Come on, house, sir. So that you can have prayer time. You can't even create one. House, sir. Who are you afraid of? Praise God. Hallelujah. God's love. He said, I might know. I'll go back. I might know. We're going to that place. Amen. Let me start first. The breath, right? I might know what the breath. All right? Okay. The breath. It could be the width. All the same. Am I speaking? The width, the length, the depth, and the height. I love this one. The width, the length, the depth, and the height. Then I must say the width, the, width. the length, the, length. The, depth. the depth, and the height. And the height. Of what? Finish it now. Uh -huh. So that we'll read it together. To know Put it together. To know the love of Christ. Christ passes what? knowledge that we may be free with all the fullness of God. Can I say this? And I'm not going to judge you. I don't know your own. Maybe your love for God stands only in the breath. Maybe there's no length. Maybe there's no depth. Maybe there's no what? No height. Am I communicating to somebody? Because the love of God must comprehend all. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes. It must talk about the depth. It must talk about the height. It must talk about the breadth. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes. And the length. Let it go wider. Let it go wider. Stop me, brother. Let me say to somebody, even if you are going to offend me in the future, I have forgiven you. Amen. Hear what I said. Praise God. I know you will offend me, no problem. I know that brother will offend you. I know that sister will offend you, somehow. But Ruth, let me make it to everybody. I'm clear to all of you, I have forgiven you in the future. Amen. I'm not forgiving you now, I have forgiven you in the future. Yes. Length, breadth, height, depth. Far. Some of us, since 2010, we have not forgiven. Yeah? And you are still working. Amen. I made my mind. I will follow him for the rest of my life. When that brother comes, that sister comes, this is where you are going. When you see her coming, you will not shake, you are just running away. God deliver you. Amen. Love. Tell them I say love. No. So the love of God is boundless, number one. Endless, number two. Fathomless, number three. Measureless. Boundless. Endless. Fathomless. 
measure this. Am I communicating to somebody? You can't measure it. That is a height thereof. You can't measure it. It's exhaustible. It's inexhaustible. You can't stop it. It's far off. Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. I pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let's look at briefly those who demonstrated their love for God. Number one, the scenario number one. Boundless, endless, fathomless, exhaustless, and measureless. That's the kind of love we are talking about. Amen. That's the kind of love we are talking about. It's endless, brother. It's fathomless, inaccessible, and measureless. Now, I will give you one scenario as the time will permit us. And that is the story in the book of Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 24. Scenario number one. It talks about the prodigal son. The prodigal son. We will not have time to read it, but Luke 15 from 11 to 24. You know it so much. Hallelujah. That story talks about the demonstration of limitless love. The boy, or the story shows that the man has two sons. And the younger child decided to tell the father, give me everything, give me my share, and let me go wherever I want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The guy did it. He went away to a far country. And the scripture said he wasted all of his money. Amen. Yes. On harlots, on prescription, on drinking, and all nice high life and all that. Hallelujah. That's how some of you are doing. The day you leave your parents, you are involved in the other side. May God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Out of control. Out of control. It's my life. Let me leave mine. This that you have left, leave your. This is my own life. It's not your life. Life belongs to God. Yes. Stop. Shout a lot. Amen. It's your life. It belongs to God. And we learn from that picture that he spent everything and he began to hunger, right? Yes. And hunger came upon his life. And then he was feeding the swine. And the Bible said to a point that even the food that was given to the pigs, he desired to eat them. He was actually eating from that. One day he came to his senses and said, hey, bro, my father has a lot. Even the servants, he eat better than I do. What am I waiting here? He came back. He went back home. Let me say this. Number one, let's learn something from this boy. Number one, departure and simple act. Brother, sin is a waster. Sin is what? It's a waster. Let me make it clear to you. Sin will return you to slavery. This boy was enjoying. Remember, he was in his father's house, right? But because of sin, it's returning back to slavery. Brother, be careful of what. Are you that prodigal son now? You are involved in such reckless acts, such behavior. Nobody can count on you anymore. The father could not count on his son anymore. No one could trust him anymore. He's a slippery brother. He was running from fellowship, running for prayers and church activities. The money God gave you, you are God's steward. But you are saying, God, give me my money. Reckless by spending what does not value. He was reckless on spending of what does not value. The prodigal son will never learn to carry Bible. He will never carry Bible. You buy clothes of 100 years. Bible is 15 years. Why can't you spend your money for Bible? You are paid, prodigal son. He shows no concern on what goes on in his father's house. No concern. He doesn't bother. I'm going my way. He doesn't show concern. He's out. The prodigal son only look at what he can get from his father. He's not willing to give back to his father. That's how some of us were well, looking at how we can get from God, but not what we can give back to God. What are you giving back?
back. Tell your friend, what are you giving back to God? That's it. What do you give back to God? But I have a good news for someone. When he departed from sin, mystery and chastisement came upon him. That's number two. But number three, he had a confusion to return back home. Number one, departure and sinful act. Mystery and chastisement, that's what I discovered briefly. Conviction and his return. And the last one, his reception and welcome. His reception and welcome. Limitless love. Limitless what? Love. This fact that I said, his father's arms was open. His father's arms was open. Ready to receive the son with joy. receive you with joy. Help me read Luke 15 verse 24. Okay, he's still there. Alright, thank you. She's did that was wonderful. I love that. She's done a great job. For this son of mine was dead. And what happened? This son of mine you know that if you look at that story, it starts with there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. Yes. That is how this story, the parable came. Said this son was there, but he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. So they began to celebrate. Brother, limitless love. We are here to celebrate with you. The message is not to condemn you, but to tell you, God's limitless love is open. He's here to receive you this morning. He's here to accept you this morning. The Bible says the father even went and kissed him, right or not? Impress him. Brother. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still on board, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. And he ran to his son and threw his hands. Around him and kiss him. Your hair's bow. God is ready to throw his hands on you this morning. He's ready to train, throw his hands on you this morning. He hasn't forgotten you. I know you must have passed through a lot. I understand your weakness. But the son came back and returned. There is a returning. There is always a returning. Brother, it's not too late to return. There is another package waiting for you. The Father gave you the best. Don't worry. God is still ready to give you the best. Don't worry. Don't be afraid, sister. I don't care what happened in the past. That's why the Bible gave us illustration. He's ready to forgive you and kiss you and embrace you. What a hell spell. All I have is And you want to say, Jesus, this moon cannot pass me by. I am like that prodigal son and prodigal daughter. I have lived a reckless and extravagant life. I have mercy and I have mercy. I just need your hands. Joseph, without one plea. Both out the blow was shed for me and I've been gone. Help me out, please. Oh, yeah. If you know it just now, just the God. That's right. Come on. All our heads down. Why are you just that song? Well, thank you, Sidney. The sun, Zion.
out of here you want to give your life to Christ, just ask God for mercy and forgiveness right now. In a few minutes, we will take the offering. Ask Him to come into your life. And I'm just praying that God, the Lord, help me today. Forgive me, cleanse me, O oh God. Sanctify me. Can you put me where our eyes are closed and we are sitting down? Raise up your hands right now, wherever you are, sister. My brother, wherever you are, wherever you are, just raise up your hands. I pray with you, I pray with you there. Please can put your hands. Don't care about anybody. Your hands are gone already. It's about you. Yes, anybody can return. I will not come without counting on you, brother. Don't look at anyone. It's about you. Raise it higher. Raise it higher, sister. God bless you. Now, brother, raise it higher. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, listen to me. If you want to raise it, you are resting to God. All gets far. Some of you, I don't know what you are going to do. The way you say close your eyes, your eyes are open like anything. Who do you want to know? When you die today, will you make heaven? Will you make heaven? If something happens today, will you make heaven? I don't want you to die, but I pray for you to love this Lord. Wherever you are, I want to pray with you, wherever you are. Just raise up your hands high above your head. You cannot raise it like this. Above your head, I can see you. Thank you, Lord, for this soul. Thank you. Are you pleased by the blood of Jesus? Make them whole today. Sanctify them by the blood of Jesus. I welcome you, that brother. God bless you, that brother. I welcome you to the fold of the kingdom of God. That sister, I welcome you to the kingdom of God. And may his mercy be upon you. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. I said in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Yeah. And we put our hands together for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now it's time to give to God. Can we have the titles in the house, please? Titles in the house. your children who have come in obedience to your word to give one tenth of their increase to you. We ask Lord God that you open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessings upon them in the name of Jesus. Rebuke every devourer from their sin. Affliction shall not be their portion for in Jesus' name we pray. Can we lift up our envelopes, our offering envelopes please? Can we lift it? Father, we thank you for those envelopes. We thank you for the tokens in it. These cannot be measured up to the blessings you have given us, but we've come, Lord God, to give this seed to you. As we sow into your kingdom, Father, we ask that you bless us on every area of our life in the name of Jesus. Increase us, guide us, protect our homes, our jobs, and our families. For Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
Yes. 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 Yes.